Hi folks, my name is Ronan Kennedy and I'm a career coach and business mentor. In this video, I would like to talk to you about online CV builders and what they can do for you. Now, this video is a little bit exciting or nerve wracking or um, yeah, a bit, bit strange for me because basically I'm gonna be telling you about some online tools that will, that will potentially take away some of the work that I do, the, the work I get paid for. Um, so that's both uh, exciting and uh, uh, let's say strange for me. Uh, because career coaches and career guidance counselors and stuff, uh, you know, people who do, who do similar to, sort of work, we get paid to help people with their CVs, to help them describe their experience, to help them write profiles about themselves, to help them sell themselves. And these online tools, these pieces of technology do not necessarily the same thing, but they do something very, very similar. Uh, obviously, it depends on um, how you use them and which tool you choose and, you know, how much effort and engagement you put into it. Obviously, it depends on those types of things. Uh, so anyway, what is a CV builder? Well, a CV builder is like an online website, a tool that allows you to upload your CV or write your CV or create your CV on this tool. And basically it's super useful and super efficient because it helps you with the design, the layout, the content, uploading photos, downloading the right type of document, whether it's Word or CV uh, or, or PDF, I should say. It helps you with all those types of things that are a bit of a hassle or a bit of a, a stress for you. So I want to tell you a little bit about more the uh, a little bit more about these in this video. So a few considerations, uh, a few sorry, an overview first. There's key considerations that we have to think of when choosing a CV builder. What are they for you? Each person is going to have slightly different considerations, and you need you need to just think about which are the most important ones for you. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the top products on the market and my conclusion and my top picks. Okay. So the key considerations. Well, it's really about removing manual work like formatting or grammar checks, uh, getting nice style, the, you know, graphic design options. Even if you choose one style and you don't like it, the beauty about these is you can just choose another style and all the content and information that you've already put in there stays in there. Whereas if you're working in Microsoft Word or Adobe Photoshop, that's a little bit trickier to do. Um, often they give you example content or pre-populated content in there so that you can basically choose a sort of job or choose a sort of CV that you like, see the example content that's in there and then tweak it based on your own uh, skills and experience. It just means you don't have to start from scratch, you don't have to start from uh, you know, an absolute blank page. Uh, you have a bit of a, uh, a leg up, a bit of a boost. Then after you've created your CV, you might wanna make a copy and you want to um, send it to you know a, a different organization so you can make a copy quickly and then you can tailor it based on the application uh, based on the job description of uh, the, the job you're going for it allows you to do those things easily one or two of them even uh, have AI artificial intelligence tailor the applications for you which is really crazy and a, a cool feature now it's obviously going to depend on how well the company has written the job description to start because the AI can only work with the job description it's given um, whereas you can interpret the job description, read more about the company, talk to people who work in there, look at the LinkedIn profiles. You can do a lot more things to uh, put together a good profile and good job description. But for the moment, it's still really cool uh, technology. Um, uh, so the next one then is including a matching cover letter. So once you've got the design of the CV, you can then choose a matching cover letter. And sometimes they're uh, pre-written and you just change some of the uh, ideas you want. Now I've looked at them, they're, they're, they're pretty good, they're written quite well, but um, I still think there's probably some uh, extra information you can put in there to really make it special, to really make it land with the company. I don't think the cover letter is just another version of the CV. I think the CV is an expression of the facts about your career and your experience and your responsibilities, whereas the cover letter is an expression of interest in the company and why you're particularly suited to the role. So I, I think they're different. And sometimes these CV builders are more just about showing you the design and some sample text as opposed to really helping you write a good cover letter. So you still need to do a little bit of work there. They also give you a design and some sample content for a resignation letter, which is really uh, cool if you find that difficult to do. Um, they use AI to write and update your experience. So one of them, for example, is called Kick Resume. This, uh, this CV builder is really interesting because when you log in, they say, uh, tell us what your job title is, and then you write your job title and they write a couple of bullet points of what they think you probably do. 
And it just means that you can then tweak those or you can add or you can subtract points based on what you really think uh, you're doing. Um, but it just gives you a bit of a, a head start. You don't need to start from scratch. A lot of us are intimidated by that, uh, you know, that white blank page. Um, you can create documents that pass the ATS or the applicant tracking systems. The, the applicant tracking systems are used by big companies and basically they're pieces of code or pieces of software that identify the characteristics or the keywords that applicants have based on the job description. And then they use that to refine or to reduce down the amount of applicants so they can uh, decide who goes forward for interview. Um, you don't want to get your CV ruled out by an uh, applicant tracking system. So you want to have a piece of software that passes that. Okay, so that's why it's really cool that they have these, uh, these features built in. Tracking out, they allow you also to track applications efficiently uh, without losing them on your computer. So, you know, so if you if your files on your desktop or your files on a work computer, files on a home computer, it, you know, you can kind of lose them. Maybe you're using, you know, uh, some other tools. But uh, if you're using one of these websites, they just keep all of the files uh, there on that website, on, on your account, and it just allows you to track them easily. The other thing uh, that was really useful is they allow you to start a personal website or a portfolio. Now, not all of the CV builders, obviously, if you're going for more of the entry level ones, you don't get to um, you, you don't get to the personal website or the personal portfolio, but if you're using some of the, the higher level ones, uh, they will give you a personal website or portfolio. Okay, um, now a couple of the CV builders on the market: so Canva, Kick Resume, CV Template, Visual CV, uh, Enhanced CV, Resume.io, Flow CV, CV Maker, Zeti, Novo Resume, My Perfect Resume, Resume Build, and Resume Genius. So lots, they're, they're only the ones I picked out. There's obviously more out there than those, um, but at some point you have to just say, okay, that's enough to kind of look into. Um, so I suppose um, out of all those, and I've done videos on some of those already, so please feel free to check out those. But out of all those, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, Canva is interesting because it's a free platform where you can design anything from CVs and cover letters to ebooks to social media posts to documents to all sorts of stuff um, now it has a nice uh, a, a nice chunk of templates that you can use to design your cv but structuring and layout you still have to do that yourself so it's more just for design it doesn't well it gives you a little bit of uh, pre-filled content but usually it's totally different to what you're looking for so uh, canva is really a graphic design tool that can be used for cvs as opposed to like a cv builder as such um, Kick, Re whoops. Kick Resume is uh, a really good one. It's got the AI in there. Um, it's got cover letters, resignation letters, personal website. That's one of the higher end premium ones. Really good to use. Um, I thought it was uh, simple to use, very professional. I was very happy with the, uh, with the final product. Um, CV template is uh, free to use, but then you have to uh, pay to download. Um, but in, in the blog I've written alongside of this, I've laid out all the pricing because I really wanted to make sure I got it right and didn't make any mistakes. So if you want to uh, check out all the pricing, the features and functions, please go to the, the blog accompanying this video and you'll see them all laid out. I took screenshots because I want to capture everything exactly as they have presented it so you can get a good sense. And it just saves you going from one website to the other website to the other website and checking all the features and functions. Okay. Uh, Visual CV and Ehan CV really really good options very easy to use very nice templates really thought these were great um the other uh, one that i would really pick out i think is flow cv i think flow cv was really interesting because it was um a very professional looking cv maker that you build everything from scratch and you could download one resume for free so if someone has if you've got time on your hands and you want a really professional looking cv that has all the nice graphic design features I think Flow CV is an excellent one. The only problem is you can't really duplicate it without paying. And so in that case, you're gonna to have to pay a little bit more. Um, uh, you know, Zeti, Novo Resume, very good. Um, nice design, ni nice layout. And then the other couple, My Perfect Resume, Resume Build and Resume Genius. These were good too, but really um, I felt the designs weren't quite as good as um, maybe the other ones that I spoke about, like uh, Enhanced CV or uh, Kick Resume or um, let's say Visual CV, 
but they were still very good and did the job now uh, also i have to acknowledge that you know they did exactly what they were supposed to do and they had the uh, templates that you could download Now you do have to pay for them but they are cheaper they are more cost effective than let's say visual cv enhanced cv or kick resume so it really depends if you're on a budget you might want to go for those um you know those types of ones but if you really want just the best of the best you know i would say kick resume uh, visual cv or enhance uh, cv so that takes me on to my conclusion like my personal recommendation is enhance cv as offered like fantastic design, I think was my favorite design options. And I thought the functionality was, was super because as you look at the CV and as you uh, type, you can see it all on the page. For some of the other ones, you have to go to like a separate box or a separate screen and type there and then like wait for it to go on. And I just thought that was a little bit more tricky because you're kind of going from the left to the right the whole time and changing your focus. Whereas when you're on uh, Enhanced CV, you're you're just typing and you're writing as you see and it's nice sequential flow to it also they allow you to do uh, cover letters they allow you to change design they give you lots of samples so i thought it was really uh, great for all those features when you download it into pdf it also looks fantastic and has ats the applicant tracking system software built in i thought kick resume was a very close second loved i love their ai feature where you can type in your job title and they write out you know the responsibilities that you've done um, I thought the personal website was a really nice touch and the way you can do resignation letters and cover letters that match were really, really fantastic as well. It's a little bit more cost effective than enhanced CV. So if that's important for you, you know, I think, you know, it's worth looking at a uh, kick resume. And my, my number three was visual uh, C, CV, not because it was, um, not because it was, it was any less good than the other two. I, I thought it was really, really good. Super design, um, nice functions i just it's more that i preferred kick resume and enhanced cv so look i hope i've given you a good general outline of all those um uh, cv builders i didn't go into detail on every single uh, cv builder in uh, a huge amount of detail because i'm trying to give you a general outline but if you look at the blog that i've attached to this video you'll see a breakdown of all the pricing breakdown of all the features links to the website so that you can really go through it in more detail if you want. If you're stuck for time, I think sticking to those three uh, recommendations that I have and seeing what you like there is the best thing to do. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and let me know in the comments if you agree, if you disagree, if you have any questions, uh, and if you think it's gonna put someone like me out of business. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a good day.